What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another reviewed unboxing video of a controller by Retrobit. It is the Sega Genesis Clear Blue 2.4 GHz controller. I can't wait to get into this guys, so here we go. Alright guys, so this controller just came out recently. Uh, I was able to snag one up. Uh, definitely went with the clear blue. Uh, they do have a like a shadow gray, I think they call it uh, also, which I might get uh, for sure. But basically, like I said guys, at the beginning of the video, it is an 8 button arcade pad, 2.4 gigahertz. It is made by Retrobit. Uh, it's compatible with the Sega Genesis, the original one, uh, the original console that is, uh, the Sega Genesis Mini. Uh, PC, Mac, PS3, and the Switch. Uh, it does include two of the uh, dongles you need for the uh, connectivity. So you have the one for the original uh, Sega Genesis and also a USB uh, enabled one. So that way you can hook it up to your USB enabled uh, uh, device. Uh, guys, uh, this one is again, 2.4 gigahertz. It's officially licensed by Sega. Um, again, it's compatible with all those that I mentioned a while ago. Guys, again, I'm excited to open this up. So let's get into the hardware. I'm gonna open it up for you guys, show it, and also uh, show a little gameplay footage. All right, guys, so let's uh, go ahead and open it up and check it out. Man, I'm excited for this. Oh, wow, that's pretty nice. I know you can see that here. Let me get a yeah, nice little little case there for you. Has a retro bit on there. Uh, it says I love. I don't know what that is. Looks like a LRA, I think, or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll find out later what it means, and I'll tell you guys. Oh man, look at that. So okay, like I said, you know, in the package here, you get um, the um, dongle for the original uh, Genesis hardware. And I'm assuming this little button right here is your um, connectivity button. So that's pretty neat right there. All right, you also have your USB dongle for the, of course, the Switch, uh, Sega Genesis Mini and that kind of stuff. Uh, same little concept here. You got your little connection button right there for you. All right, so let's look at the main thing, the real whole reason why you're watching this video. And uh, so yeah, there you go. There's that bead right there. Uh, looks like it has your home select. Uh, feels just like the other controller. Uh, great in the hands. I uh, love that color, that that blue color there. So it's pretty neat. There's a little battery there for you, a little rechargeable battery. Uh, again, guys, um, this is a pretty awesome controller. It's pretty much the same uh, concept as the other one. Uh, feels great. Uh, does have the L and R on the top here. I'm assuming for your like Switch games and whatnot, um, when you're using it on the Switch, what have you. Um, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, you know, the usual thing. You got a home button right there. You got uh, select and you got start. So uh, it's pretty neat here. It looks like it's trying to look for the um, dongle there to see what it connect to. But let me tell you what, let's go ahead and connect this to the Sega Genesis Mini and play some games. All right, guys. So first off, I uh, just want to let you know that if you don't have a Sega Genesis Mini, I highly recommend it. Uh, they have a lot of great choices, a lot of great games to play. Uh, and like I said, it has an HDMI output, so you can actually hook it up to your TV. Uh, and you can play all these old school games. And then it's even better now with this new controller because you can actually play wirelessly, you know, on your couch if your TV is a little bit far. Uh, so the first game uh, I'm going to test out with this controller is going to be Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, very, very uh, great game, a good classic. Uh, I love playing this game. So let's get started here. So now the sound is um, actually, I was having issues with the sound coming from the game. So um, right now you're just going to be hearing me basically mash the buttons <laughs> and also uh, talk about the uh, the the way this uh, game plays uh, with the controller. Now I have no issues uh, that I'm finding. It actually, uh, controller feels great in the hands, um, like I said, and um, 
it actually uh, is very, I have no issues with lag or like that. So it's pretty much pressing everything. So uh, it's a great, uh, definitely a great controller to use if you want to play wirelessly. So let's go ahead and skip on to the next game. Uh, guys, I don't want to uh, play, you know, each game for very long, but, you know, just, just move on to the next one. Uh, I'm trying to think what I could do. I probably want to do a uh, fighter now. So that way, you know, I can actually do the, um, use all six buttons. Um, yeah, let's, let's go with Street Fighter 2 then. Uh, Special Championship Edition. Now, I'm not very good at Street Fighter, I hate to say. Uh, I was more a Mortal Kombat guy growing up. But, uh, you know, we'll just see what happens and uh, let you know how the um, six button controller portion of this is. So, uh, you know, again, you know, great intro to this game. <laughs> uh, but again, like I said, uh, the sound for some reason I was having issues. So let's go ahead and uh, get started here and let's see who. Um, yeah, let's do this here. And um, I will be, let's see, I'll be Ryu. Okay, so let's see what we can do, see who we're face. Oh, probably going to be Guile. Yep, Guile. Alrighty, so let's see here. Alright, so guys, again, guys, I'm never good at this game, so let's see what happens. I do the Hadouken, but I forget how to do it. There it goes. <laughs> I knew I forgot sometime. Okay, guys. Again, keep your uh, laughter to a minimum, please. <laughs> like I said, I'm not very good at this game. Uh, but, uh, you know, maybe I can practice more and, uh, you know, uh, I'll get better at it. But, yeah, like I said, I was more Mortal Kombat uh, from back in the day than I was uh, Street Fighter. Uh, come on. Come on. Oh. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> you can see that there. I'm, I'm struggling a little bit there. But uh, we'll try the next round and see what happens here. Maybe I can redeem myself. We'll see. Come on. Oh, man, I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm trying to do the leg thing. I can't remember what it's called. Let's see, maybe I can pull it off here. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, okay, got him. Alright, let's try. Maybe I can redeem myself and get him. There you go. A little late than ever, right? <laughs> yeah, I forget what that movie was called, but oh, okay, great. Okay, well, like I said, guys, uh, <laughs> I'm not very good at Street Fighter, but there you go. You can see uh, uh, buttons. Uh, was pretty good. I, I had no issues with it at all. So let's move on to the um, next uh, console. I'm going to be using the um, Mega Retron HD, and we're going to play some uh, Mutant League football, and maybe I can get the sound to work on this end. If not, like I said, it'll just be me pretty much talking and smash the buttons. So, uh, guys, Mutant League football, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, definitely, if you've never played this one, uh, check out also uh, Mutant League Hockey. Uh, those two are great uh, games on the uh, Sega Genesis. Now, um, I believe they only came out on Sega Genesis, but, you know, I just, you know, love these games. Uh, I was able to find this one uh this cart last year at the classic game fest so hopefully this year when we go back uh, i'm going to be looking for that immediately league hockey uh to try to add it to my collection so um basically it's just a football game with uh, monsters uh and as you can see uh you can set different settings and the death index means that uh basically players will blow up and that kind of stuff like sometimes there's craters in certain levels of bombs or whatever in on the field and yeah it's pretty awesome it's pretty funny too uh the names of some of these characters and stuff so as you can see here for mines fire pits rocks on crates see so yeah it's pretty dangerous these fields we play on <laughs> so i guess it's like in space or whatever see so then of course you have your coaches that talk to you and if you start uh doing bad you know they'll they'll talk bad about you and whatnot it's pretty funny but but yeah it's a pretty good little football game here so definitely check it out if you uh have a sega genesis so let's see here um, i haven't played this in a while so you know uh forgive me if i'm not that good but uh you know uh, uh, i used to be really good at this game <laughs> i play it a lot 
Uh, so, but yeah, like I said, you know, your coach will kind of, like I said, scream at you, yell at you. And then if you start, like I said, uh, doing bad, he'll start like, uh, you know, making these faces at you. It's pretty funny. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this going here. <laughs> like I said, you're playing like in space or whatever, you know, so the balls will disappear and whatnot. So. So let's see if we can uh, make a first down on here, or at least get close to it. So, there you go, we caught it. <laughs> See the little uh, flaming hole there in the ground? Yeah, that's that crater that, you know, you can catch fire. So, do some sleigh action. <laughs> so third and ten, all right guys, here you go. You can see them. both my guys, uh, yeah, got killed. So, yeah, uh, it's a pretty gruesome game here. But you see, uh, turned over, see, and I'll tell you. See? And like I said, it's just funny. It's just funny because it's not like, you know, they don't have guns or anything like that. It's just a funny game, you know, that they do here. And then, like I said, of course, on defense, you can do all kinds of stuff. But the names of these characters, are for, I mean, the players, sorry, are pretty funny, too. Oh, fumble. There you go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, you can tell, uh, you know, Kraken is killed by, killed by uh, Spew, Puke, or whatever. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, it's just a fun all-around arcade-style, you know, um, football game here with monsters and whatnot. So, man, see, there's a lot of fumbles going on here. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't lose that one. Uh, but, yeah, you can tell here. His mama called him, so that's funny, hilarious. Like I said, it's just funny little little things that they do. So, okay, let's try this again. Uh, let's do this here. Alrighty, like I said, it's just a fun game. You know, definitely can, uh, uh, they have like a season mode where you can actually play like a tournament or a tournament mode or whatever you want to call it. And then uh, you can actually, uh, you know, play and win the, I guess, Super Bowl or whatever. Oh, pff, there you go. See another fumble. <laughs> Alright guys, I think that's good enough for there, but yeah, let's move on to our closing remarks here. Alright guys, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you head over to Castle Mini Games to pick yours up. Uh, they're great guys over there. With that being said guys, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon in the corner so that way you don't miss any of my future videos. And like I always say, we'll see you next time.